News at noon. Welcome back, everyone. We should learn today if Abreli Escobar will live the rest of his life in prison or die for his crime. A jury deliberating that decision after they found him guilty seven days ago. Let's get the latest now from the Justice Center. Chris Sadegi live with closing arguments. Chris? God-like power. That's what defense attorney Alan Williams told the jury that they have here today. And then in closing arguments, both sides talked about the book of God with biblical connotations and verses being quoted from both sides about the value of a life as closing arguments turned into somewhat of a Sunday school type environment. But as if that weren't enough for the jury to think about, they then had to hear about the rest of the case and more specifically their options, life in prison without parole or the death penalty. The defense is trying to show that Escobar has been a good family man. He has young children, his sisters, all of these people would be affected if he were sentenced to death as opposed to life in prison. But the prosecution says that we have a law in Travis County and it says in these cases he should get the death penalty because it's only reserved for the worst of the worst. And they say that is what Escobar is. As he's walking over to Bianca Maldonado's apartment. Was he thinking about those five kids as he's making that walk? Was he thinking about his sisters who have been very loving towards him? You have the right, each of you, to find mitigation, I hate that word, but good, selfless deeds, real, sufficient to warrant condemning him to hell, a kind of hell forever, as opposed to killing this jury took about two to three hours to find Escobar guilty for the murder of Bianca Maldonado, and they're taking a short lunch break now, and then they will begin deliberations on whether he will live the rest of his life in prison or if he will receive the death penalty. Stay tuned to KXAN.com throughout the day for all the updates. We're live at the Travis County Justice Complex. Chris Seidegge, KXAN, Austin.